Please be seated. Le Président, veuillez vous asseoir. The court is back in session. Reprise de l'audience. And Judge Lavange will continue putting la further questions to the expert. And Judge Lavange, Lavange you have the floor. Son interrogatoire, Monsieur le juge Lavergne, vous avez la parole. Oui, merci, Monsieur le Président. Je vais yes, essayer thank you, Mr. President. Plus courte. I'll try to ask à, à shorter questions to uh, the Madame expert. Madame Baker, quand uh, vous avez Mrs. effectué Baker, ce voyage en décembre 1978, when you visited Cambodia in December 1978, did you notice anything particular uh, du regarding Buddhism? pagodas and the practice of Buddhism? Yes, um, the pagodas were empty. Oui, les pagodes étaient vides. Uh, I saw more than a few that were used as granaries. And when I asked about it, um, sujet, two in person in particular said it was a reactionary faith and the people had given it up. Que tout uh, I didn't que see les anything that um, would Suggest any that there were any monks allowed. I saw. I didn't see a single monk. I didn't see any example of um, worship or um, the ability to worship. Est-ce que vous avez posé des questions sur éventuellement euh, les, les changements qu'avait entraîné la révolution dans les relations familiales, that, uh, la façon dont les hommes et les femmes revolution se in family relations between men and women, marriage, and so on and so forth? Yes, and um, oui. Uh, usually, I asked. Général, Every co-op I went to, and of course to Prasit and the other officials, um, essentially aussi, they acknowledged that um, children were taken away from, children were no longer living with their families leur famille, by and large, plus uh, they were sent leur on leur children, what were, they called children's brigades, and uh, at one point I saw à un a, donné, a row of very young children pu voir une gathering de firewood, très and that was called the children's brigade. At other times, you'd see a truckload of, of uh, what feu, looked like ce que une, um, unité, sort of preteens, teenagers, un and um, les enfants, by gender, they would be either, either um, young girls or boys, and they would be in brigades. Um, the, so that would be children in terms of married Donc, couples. Voilà pour, uh, again, enfants, ce qui les couples, every once in a while in co-op, you'd see in the co-ops you, you would see couples, temps, but in the cities they were by couples, dormitories, men and women. So they were segregated. The, they said that they, you had to have permission to get married, and they um, wanted older, I can't remember the age, but sort of 20-ish. Um, but I did not, except for in the model co-ops, I didn't see family groupings. And there was no disguising that um, it, was, it was by and large discouraged so that there would be de façon générale, you know, working, 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 as they kept saying, work is their, um, their travailler major et travailler resource. Relâche, comme il le disait, le travail, la ressource principale du pays. Est-ce que dans, dans vos contacts avec euh, des cadres, in avec les autorités du Cambodge démocratique, on vous a fait part du souci de voir augmenter la population du Cambodge Did they express any concerns about increasing the population of Cambodia. Yes, they, um, they uh, said they wanted to, to increase the population. Oui, ils qu ils and um, when I pointed out that some of their policies may discourage it, des um, they, au they de said that there were uh, essentially uh, conjugal visiting hours. Y avait a couple des of, uh, I can't remember how many days, but there are certain days of, of the month that Mais that men cas, could visit their jour, wives and vice versa. Jour, so that um, it was a policy, but in theory they wanted to improve it, but in practice it wasn't the kind of thing that um, actually 
they did. Pas, but yes, uh, they wanted to, to increase the fait. population. Et effectivement, oui, ils voulaient augmenter la population. Au cours de votre voyage, avez-vous eu l'occasion de rencontrer trip, des réfugiés Were you able vous to meet comme étant des réfugiés with the refugees presented to you as et refugees si oui, of Cambodia Chrome? And if yes, do you remember when you met with them and what kinds of conversations you had with those people? Um, yes, we did meet, and it oui. was midway in the in our nous trip. Nous nous um, le and the conversations were largely um, the the Kampuchea Chrome saying that um, they were starving in Vietnam, and they came to Cambodia for a better Vietnam, life. Ils sont venus au pour trouver une vie meilleure. Voilà la teneur des discussions. Alors, j'avais noté ceci qui m'avait paru assez curieux. I had noted euh, this and it appeared donc, euh, quite strange. Rencontré ces camps, ces, ces réfugiés you met with those euh, refugees en allant donc vers Kampongsom. When you were going to Kampongsom, euh, les réfugiés vous auraient dit qu'ils avaient fui le Vietnam parce que les autorités étaient opposées au capitalisme because the authorities et qu'ils étaient venus opposés au capitalisme and that they had come to Cambodia Alors, euh, to make money. Ceci, je sais pas si ça I noted that, and I don't know whether it is in line with what you remember. I found it quite strange. Right, and I wrote it down because it was strange. Ce que écrit, and, um, et je écrit justement there parce was no follow-up, like et how could you make money suivi. here when there's no money, but that's what they Donc said. Comment peut-on gagner de l'argent dans un endroit où il n'y a pas d'argent? En tout cas, c'est ce qu'ils ont dit. Alors, j'aimerais maintenant qu'on aborde un, no. un, un des moments euh, forts like de ce voyage, talk about one qui était votre high points of that trip. interview, l'entretien que And vous that avez accordé au Premier ministre. Qu'est-ce que vous pouvez nous en dire, tout d'abord Qu'est-ce que vous pouvez nous en dire, tout d'abord Qu'est-ce que vous pouvez nous en dire, tout d'abord Qu'est-ce que vous pouvez nous en dire, tout d'abord Qu'est-ce que vous pouvez nous en dire, tout d'abord Qu'est-ce que vous pouvez nous en dire, tout d'abord Qu'est-ce que vous pouvez nous en dire, tout d'abord Qu'est-ce que vous pouvez nous en dire, tout d'abord Qu'est-ce que vous pouvez nous en dire, tout d'abord Qu'est-ce que vous pouvez nous en dire, tout d'abord Qu'est-ce que vous pouvez nous en dire, tout d'abord Qu'est-ce que vous pouvez nous en dire, tout d'abord Qu'est-ce que vous pouvez nous en dire, tout d'abord Qu'est-ce que is there any problem with the interpretation into English as well? Non plus. Neither. On me dit de réessayer. Est-ce que ça fonctionne? I am being told to try again. Is it working now? Oui. Yes. Bon. Bien. Donc, euh, well. je voulais vous poser des questions en concernant l'interview. I would like to put questions euh, to you regarding que vous avez the interview avec, euh, you granted Pol Pot. to Paul Pot. Alors, est-ce que vous pouvez nous dire quand cet entretien Can a eu lieu, euh, comment ça s'est passé, quels ont été les sujets abordés, unfolded, what subjects you broached, and so on and so forth. Um, we were asked several days earlier to prepare on nous a demandé quelques jours questions à l'avance de préparer nos questions uh, et which de les préparer we did. en anticipation ce que nous avons fait the subjects were all the subjects we've already mentioned abordés um, sont les sujets que nous avons déjà war, mentionnés the impending war la guerre, but human rights imminente, mais aussi and, les droits um, de l'homme Richard Dudman and I had one set Richard of questions, et moi -même and Malcolm une Caldwell had another, because um, Caldwell en avait une autre. he was a friend and he would have a Puisque separate interview. Malcolm At the same time, we were not guaranteed an interview. Façon and on our last day, we presumed that we would not have one. Journée, nous que and cet uh, once pas again, I, have, I was out on a walk Donc, which nouveau, I shouldn't have been on when um, the interview was granted. So one of the cadre came, fetched me, and within 30 minutes, we were driven over to uh, what was the former French governor general's home here, right on the river, a beautiful sort of art deco home. And um, it was um, a very dramatic scenario. Le scénario était we were, extrêmement we, solennel. We had a special Mercedes take on us, avait une a very Mercedes, fancy one that we hadn't used before, très belle Mercedes, waiting for us at the door, to impress it again, I believe. Je crois que Walked into Prusite. the big um, audience hall, dans la and salle um, there, sitting down Et là, in this assis, large chair, as if it were thrown, was Pol Pot himself. Très grande With him chaise, were, il y avait um, Pol Pot lui-même. Yang Sari, Yang Sari était avec and, lui. Um, 
Kietchon. Uh, Kietchon. So we went over, we said, we, introductions were made, he did not get up. Les présentations ont été faites, uh, il ne s'est pas levé. We had a time to take photographs, Nous avons sit eu down, un moment have a pour prendre des little photos. chat. Nous nous and then assis, nous we were told that ensuite, he would not answer any of our questions. Ne aucune de nos questions. They were given, the answers were later given to us in writing, Par la suite, and that les he à nos would talk to us. Par écrit, so instead of an interview, revanche, it became a lecture. Donc, en fait, and for approximately two devenu, hours, uh, he lectured us on the impending heures, war with Vietnam. And he lectured us on the impending war with Vietnam. Uh, and he lectured us on the impending war with Vietnam. Without a, a note, entirely extrem, ex, extemporaneous, he drew this incredible vision of la pluie, la Vietnamese, the Vietnamese army coming across from the east, supported by Warsaw Pact qui était tanks and par le pacte de Air for, um, par armed forces. Chars, par des and armées, then he said the Cambodians ensuite, would stop them with the Cambodian forces and forces from NATO. The North Atlantic Le Treaty Organization. He imagined that NATO would then be supporting Cambodia. And you'd have the Warsaw Pact from Eastern Europe and the Soviet Union, I mean, Warsaw Pact from Eastern Europe and Vietnam coming, and there'd be the big clash, and Cambodia would win. And it was so bizarre that Richard and I were looking at each other's notes to make sure we heard the same thing. And then he described how this would be the biggest crisis in the world because if Cambodia became a satellite of Vietnam, it would trigger ever larger Cold War problems. That was two hours. And at the end of it, he de said goodbye to us, and we went back to the ensuite, house. Il nous a dit and au the car dropped us off, and the car revenus, took Malcolm Caldwell to his interview. And um, what Malcolm told us Malcolm when he came Caldwell back was that he actually had a discussion with Pol Pot. Nous a dit, que it was, en and revenant, que lui Malcolm avait um, had already told Yang Sari and others that Malcolm he was very upset that Cambodia and Vietnam were fighting, that he had supported both of their revolutions and it made him very sad so that they would be fighting each other. So he did not talk about Vietnam with Pol Pot. He only talked about revolutionary economics. And I can't remember everything he said, but he came back very happy. He thought his mission was done. The one thing he cared about was understanding how the communist country could have their economic theories. Uh, and, les théories économiques du pays fonctionnaient um, et il est revenu et nous pensions alors que c'était la fin de notre voyage. S'agissant de cet entretien avec Paul Pot, regarding that interview Pot with Paul Pot, avait développé son raisonnement quant aux conséquences possibles du conflit et je crois que vous avez mentionné que les Vietnamiens seraient appuyés par le pacte de Varsovie et par les forces de Varsovie que le Cambodge allait éventuellement être appuyé par les troupes de l'OTAN et le Cambodge allait être appuyé par les troupes de l'OTAN et le Cambodge allait être appuyé par les troupes de l'OTAN et le Cambodge allait être appuyé I don't, re I don't remember that he did. Je ne I me do not pas remember that he did. Je, je ne, je ne crois pas. Alors, vous avez expliqué également que les questions que vous aviez... You enfin, also explained que, il eu aucune uh, that aux questions you que did vous not receive any pour, uh, answers to the Pot, questions you had prepared for Pol Pot, but you did say that he subsequently gave you answers in writing. I noted in reading one of your articles, an article I referred to earlier. I have already given the references of that il est dit que vous avez interrogé Pol Pot sur deux sujets. La première, vous avez demandé comment se faisait-il que le gouvernement puisse annoncer avec beaucoup d'assurance des 
chiffres, des données statistiques so concernant les naissances, le nombre de naissances, le nombre de morts, of birds, et euh, est-ce que vous deaths? vous souvenez de la réponse Do you que, que the vous avez obtenue that, uh, you obtained de, de, de for that question. I mean, an answer from Pol Pot. Exactly no. Voilà, non. Exactement non. J'ai noté, moi, euh, dans cet article, vous disiez, I noted in reading this article, citez Pol Pot et vous dites, and you were quoting Pol Pot, and this days, is what you said, and I quote. change pour l'anglais. I'm switching Every to English. Every 10 days, all cooperatives send their regular Tous les reports, jours, toutes les coopératives including figures leur in all fields. Y compris les chiffres. The central administration Dans tous les domaines. needs only to assemble this data. Compiler toutes ces données. Est-ce que ça, ça vous rafraîchit la mémoire? Does that jog your memory? Okay. Et dans ce même article, vous And dites également avoir article, interrogé Pol Pot aussi sur euh, le système judiciaire en place au Cambodge. Et également, semble-t-il, vous avez eu des And réponses concernant euh, l'existence de your tribunaux populaires. The Mais Pol Pot, là, je cite encore votre article qui dit ceci. And if I quote your article, this is what Pol Pot said. Peuvent être résolus par le peuple. All problems can be resolved by the people. Le peuple Ordinarily, the people hold regular meetings à during à which de critique they et engage in criticism and self-criticism exercises. They always ou les gros différents. end up Le resolving minor and major disputes, la décision du peuple, and the tribunals only intervene to ratify the decisions of the people, démocratique. and they are guided by the principles of que, democratic aussi, centralism. End of quote. Do you also recall that answer? Yes. Oui. J'aimerais aussi que vous me disiez, est-ce que vous avez interrogé I would also like les responsables du Kampuchea démocratique sur l'organisation, l'organigramme du gouvernement du Kampuchea démocratique Est-ce que vous avez essayé d'avoir des indications pour savoir Kampuchea. qui était responsable de quoi, qui était ministre de quoi Who was in charge of what Who was the minister of what ministry um, Yes. Oui. Yes. Et est-ce qu'on vous a donné ces réponses <laughs> And did they answer that question I had with me, if I remember correctly, Si je me souviens bien, um, j'avais um, avec moi the US government un organigramme établi par le gouvernement américain, their, um, lequel with the, organigramme um, comportait and différentes structures. I believe it was Prasit. Je pense que c'était Prasit. Oh, shoot. I think it was my memory, did, but I know, I, I believe it was défaut, Prasit, mais je pense que who, Prasit who did not want to answer, but he did not répondre. say it was wrong. Mais en même temps, il n'a pas voulu the, dire que c'était faux. C'est you know, le schéma que vous avez tous vu avec le comité permanent, party. le gouvernement et le parti. Et semble-t-il, par exemple, vous avez demandé qui était les, les vice-présidents du euh, au sommet au présidium du présidium d'État. Et euh, semble-t-il, vous n'avez pas eu de réponse à ces questions-là. And it appears that that, un, that question was not answered. I guess not. <laughs> J'imagine que non. Voilà. Par contre, vous avez indiqué, you, et je crois que c'était au moment où vous visitiez la plantation de, de caoutchouc, on, a, on vous a mentionné un nom plantation, qui était le nom de Van Riet. Est-ce que ce nom the name vous, of Van, vous dit quelque chose Van Riet. Does that name ring a bell to you The name for what For the le nom number two Le nom correspondant à quoi au numéro 2 Non, alors... 
Peut-être pour rafraîchir la mémoire. Non, perhaps I should start by cette, refreshing cette your memory. At the time de, de of your visit to the rubber factory, que, euh, you are given the name of Van Rit and told that, uh, that du rubber factory was directly under the auspices of the Minister of Commerce or the person in charge of the Department of Commerce, and you are given the name Van Rit. Does that ring a bell? Vaguely. Vaguement. Bien, j'ai promis de pas dépasser 20 minutes. J'ai déjà dépassé les 20 minutes. I promise not to go beyond 20 minutes. I have already gone beyond 20 minutes. So, please tell me very quickly what was the last high point of your visit? The, 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 the last night you spent in, in Phnom Penh, that is the, the night of the death of the Prime Minister. The death of Caldwell. What do you have to say regarding that? Um, well, we had. Um, all gone to bed and packed our bags and were ready to leave. J'étais allé me coucher, nous avions fait nos bagages, nous étions prêts à partir. I was woke, and I'll just give my version. I enfin, je vais donner ma version sans parler des autres. J'ai été éveillé par du bruit. I smelled the cordite and I realized that I'd been woken by gunshots. Seulement un peu plus tard que j'ai compris que j'avais été réveillé par des coups de feu. Je me suis levé de mon lit. J'étais au premier étage. Et lui était au deuxième. J'ai littéralement heurté un jeune homme qui m'a braqué de son arme à feu. J'avais entendu des bougonnements, des gémissements en Khmer. Lui, il avait vraiment l'air cambodgien, mais il portait une drôle de casquette. Il a braqué son arme sur moi. J'ai hurlé, premièrement en anglais, puis en khmer, en disant non. Ensuite, j'ai couru vers ma chambre. Ran into the bathtub, which is what you learn when you're a war correspondent. That's the only place to be safe. And that happened to be under the stairwell. He did not follow me, and I heard him go up the stairs. And then I heard lots of gunshots. And 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 I heard lots for several hours, Ça a duré plusieurs I believe. Je pense. And um, I did not hear anybody upstairs. Je entendu I en didn't haut. hear anything outside. Je rien entendu à and at first, I thought this was the invasion et and they came to the wrong house. Et dans and then I wondered if there was maison. a coup. Then I wondered if there was an uprising. And then I just stopped thinking. Je me suis demandé s'il y avait eu un soulèvement. And Puis then, cessé de penser. after a while, Après un certain I temps, heard a um, sounded like well glass breaking on our front door. J'ai entendu comme un bruit de Someone verre coming brisé in, dragging à la porte something up the stairs, down the stairs. Entré, I can't remember which. Entraînant quelque chose and then dans les escaliers vers ou vers le bas, je ne sais plus bien. Door shutting. Ensuite, uh, then I heard. Um, J'ai entendu un bruit de porte qui se fermait. As people Puis, were running around the house. J'ai entendu parler Just en Khmer. Il y avait des and, chiffres um, qui étaient prononcés en Khmer. Then, des gens um, qui étaient dans la maison. One of the guards came into the bedroom, and I recognized him. And I presumed he was there to help me. So I was glad to see him. So I was glad to see him. And I presumed he was there to help me. So I was glad to see him. And I presumed he was there to help me. So I was glad to see him. And I presumed he was there to help me. So I was glad to see him. And I presumed he was there to help me. So I was glad to see him. And I presumed he was there to help me. So I was glad to see him. And I presumed he was there to help me. So I was glad to see him. And I presumed he was there to help me. So I was glad to see him. And I presumed he was there to help me. So I was glad to see him. And I presumed he was there to help me. So I was glad to see him. And I presumed he was there to help me. So I was glad to see him. And I presumed he was there to help me. So I was glad to see him. And I presumed he was there to help me. So I was glad to see him. And I presumed he was there to help me. So I was glad to see him. And I presumed he was there to help me. So I was glad to see him. And I presumed he was there to help me. So Les autres and vont then, bien, um, reste dans ta chambre. Within the hour, uh, dans l'heure qui a suivi, Prasit est venu dans la chambre. And said, um, that Richard Dudman was fine, Il a dit que Richard Dudman allait Malcolm bien, Caldwell. mais qu'ils avaient tué Malcolm that Caldwell. Malcolm Caldwell had been killed. Que celui-ci avait été tué. Please pack up everything Il and leave the house. Les bagages et de partir. I asked what was going on in the city. Why, you know, is the whole city up? No, 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 no. Si it's just you 
and you have to get out of the ville. house. Il dit, non, ça vous so dans vous. Il we were driven somewhere close in that same, on the same street in the neighborhood where we were questioned by um, a high-ranking security type par, uh, and left de Oran, et nous um, to wait for morning. Pour attendre le matin du jour Prasit suivant. came to pick us up and Prasit take us back to the house à la maison, where Malcolm's body was laid out in a uh, coffin. We had a secular kind of ceremony with Yang Suri giving a ceremony and um, avec, uh, Yang Sari qui y a he blamed it all on the Vietnamese. Il a rejeté la faute aux Vietnamiens, sur les Vietnamiens. And um, just, we were you know, this side of paralyzed. It was very, 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 very frightening. And très um, I gave them um, a message to send to my paper and to my family to say everything was fine. journal et à ma famille, selon quoi they didn't send tout allait bien. We got on the airplane to Beijing Mais ils ne pas and discovered, Prasit came with us and nous discovered that they didn't send any of the cables. Prasit and we arrived, nous. nothing was prepared. So we got in touch with the British, British préparé, nous avons pris and the American representative. We didn't have a full embassy then. And Mr. Mr. Woodcock was fabulous. The British ambassador was fabulous. Um, and um, then we, we, um, we got in touch Nous avons with the ensuite outside pris world. contact and, avec um, le monde extérieur. First, no one could believe this had happened. Et au départ, personne ne pouvait y croire. So, um, we went home. Nous sommes rentrés and, chez um, nous. I think it was on the day after we got home that the Vietnamese invaded. Je pense invaded. que c'est le lendemain de notre arrivée chez nous que les Vietnamiens ont envahi. Voilà, donc en ce qui concerne les dates, so, semble-t-il with regard to the dates, it seems to me that you left and you went to, to you arrived in Beijing on the 23rd of December, and apparently the Vietnamese troops started coming into Cambodia on the 25th of December. So two days after you left for Cambodia. So later on. Eu connaissance de certains Did documents you become aware of certain documents uh, regarding what happened that night? Can you tell us a bit about that? Uh, oops, excuse me. As I said, uh, they, dit, Yang Suri wanted to blame the Vietnamese. Was, they, it made no sense to us. Well, nothing makes sense about these murders, but um, then, um, nous, même si, au fond, rien I think it was Ben Kiernan who, who got ben the documents Kiernan from Tool Slang. Uh, one of the last things that they did before they had to, before the Khmer Rouge had to leave de was they arrested partir, uh, some of the, the stewards who had been taking care of us and accused them of um, a rather twisted plot to kill Malcolm. Um, there was some insinuation that, um, that I was the better target because I was a CIA agent. Uh, but somehow there was, it, 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 it made no sense, but the, the gist of it is that it was at least one person was killed in tool slang because of Malcolm, as, because accused of being Malcolm's murderer, and that it was all part Malcolm, of, they were Cambodians, they were not Vietnamese, so within the internal documents, the Vietnamese weren't, weren't Donc, dans um, blamed, internes, on uh, pas uh, les Cambodians Vietnamiens. who served on us was, and it was part of one of their, um, fantastic networks, CIA agents. So, um, you know, it makes no sense why the friend would be killed and not the journalist, unless you Alors, pourquoi que imagine été tué that we were saved in order, in order to write the story. Sauf si on peut, imagine que nous avons été épargnés pour pouvoir euh, rapporter cette histoire. I think uh, that it would be difficult to know exactly what happened, who was behind what and who did what. In any case, what we know is that Dukes testified that four guards belonging to a unit called Y8 had been brought the following day to Tull Slang and uh, that he asked that uh, these prisoners 
puisse les garder pour les interroger. Be kept so that they could be questioned. And he also said that he was that these were among the last prisoners killed before the arrival of the Vietnamese. And there were also statements made by a certain Pipun, uh, Mr. Rochenton, alias Pipun, precisely. And other statements uh, in that regard. So I'm a bit out of running out of time. So I think I'm going to stop here with uh, my questioning. Thank you very much, uh, Ms. Becker. Of course, I would have wanted to ask questions to you about the interviews that you made in particular with Ms. Yang Tirit. But now I think the parties uh, might want to put the questions to you that I could not put to you. So and I hope that they're not going to ask the same questions over and over again. Thank you. Thank you. Le président. President, uh, thank you, Judge Lavalle. Merci, Monsieur le Juge. The, team, the chamber will hand the floor to the co-prosecutors to La put questions to the expert uh, Elizabeth Becker. Do you have the floor? Elizabeth now? Becker, je vous en prie. National Co Prosecutor. Uh, good afternoon, Mr. Bon President. Monsieur le Président. Good afternoon, uh, Madam Expert. Madam My name is uh, Saint Liang. I am a National Co Prosecutor. Je suis I have some uh, questions for you. Cambodian. In relation to your uh, visit in December 1978. I will not uh, ask you too many questions, as some of my other questions have been covered by Judge Lavergne. Le juge Lavergne a déjà posé certaines questions que je voulais moi-même poser. Je vais donc seulement poser seulement les autres. My first question to you is uh, the following. Première question. This morning, you stated before this court that you matin, visited Cambodia in December 1978, anniversary of you, that is vous yourself, trois, Mr. Dudman, and Professor Caldwell. Et le professeur Caldwell. Could you uh, tell the court why the Khmer Rouge chose Pourquoi you Rouge vous for the trip choisi? to uh, Cambodia pour at visiter the time. le Cambodge. Um, Réponse. They said they chose me because they knew me, first of all, from my writing during the war, and because I um, ensuite, kept asking them, I would go every year to the UN and ask them, and I wrote letters to demandant. their embassy in Beijing. Uh, question. And why that man was also chosen Pourquoi by Dutman the Khmer Rouge? Uh, you know? par les Khmer Rouge? Le savez-vous? Réponse. Richard believed he was Richard chosen because avoir été choisi he was um, he was well known as a Washington correspondent en tant que who de Washington. wrote articles critical of the American war in Vietnam and Cambodia. Au Vietnam he et au had already visited post-war Vietnam, visité le Vietnam and um, de la he was very near retirement and very il much wanted to visit post-war Cambodia. Il vraiment visiter le Cambodge de la uh, de la Question. And what about Professor Caldwell? Caldwell? You already stated that you met him in Beijing. l'avoir rencontré à Pékin. Before your encounter with him there, have you Mais or you cela, him, known him before le prior to that? Réponse. I did not know him, but Je I knew his pas, book about Cambodia that he wrote with Le Cortan. Écrit avec so I knew Le him Cortan. by reputation only. Je le connaissais donc de réputation uniquement. Uh, thank you. And uh, amongst the, the three of you, Parmi vous trois, did any of you speak or understand Khmer language? Le Khmer? 
I used to speak, réponse. and so I still could then, and so à I understood a bit. Um, uh, neither Malcolm nor ni Malcolm, Richard Dudman spoke Richard either Kamai ne Kamai or French. Ni le Khmer, ni le and with your limited uh, Khmer language, could you actually uh, make a conversation in Khmer? Étiez-vous capable d'avoir une conversation en Khmer avec le peu de connaissances que vous possédiez? Réponse. Well, no, not a real conversation, non, but I was able to conversation. get a couple things mais known. Je pouvais no, I depended always on message. interpreters. Je dépendais toujours des interprètes. Uh, Question. President. Le président interrompt. Uh, national co-prosecutor, please leave co sufficient uh, pause so that un temps avant de the poser la interpreter uh, can provide a proper interpretation. Thank you. Ainsi, les interprètes pourront Council, facilement faire you, leur uh, travail. Mr. President. Question. Why at that time you didn't bring along any interpreter to assist you? Pourquoi I would have loved to. It was not allowed. I couldn't bring a photographer. I could not bring an interpreter. Aimé, pas, I was lucky to get the visa for myself. You ruined your entire trip. Question. Who was actually responsible in providing you with the interpretation to you Pardon and to your team? Tout le voyage qui vous a fourni des services d'interprétation. It was vous, always tune prosit. Tune. Le président interrupts. Mr. National Co-Prosecutor, you've been reminded that twice already. Please leave sufficient pause between question and answer session. National Co-Prosecutor. L'accusation. Uh, could you uh, tell the court what was your main purpose of visiting oui, Cambodia at the time? What did you actually uh, want to see? Um, it was uh, no one had been to, you know, no journalist had been to Democratic Kampuchea. I had every question everybody had. What was really going on? It was a, it was a closed off society. There was no communication, no cables, no telephone, nothing. We were, it was it, self-isolation. So it was a big question, what's really going on in Democratic Kampuchea? And everybody was very afraid. So I went there because I cared about what was going on. Question. As a journalist, did you actually see what you wanted to see? Well, uh, no, I, I, but I saw enough to, to get um, at the beginning of an idea. But yes, it was very important to go and just see. But I, no, of course not. That's why I said it was a very, I was a, it was the equivalent of being under house arrest. So no, I didn't see everything I wanted to see. Question. This morning, you actually read a, uh, a report matin, provided to you by Judge Lavange, and that is in relation to a report uh, submitted to the upper uh, echelon on echelon the request of your uh, visit. Concernant votre visite. And besides what was uh, mentioned in that report or request, Outre did you actually rapport, visit a hospital or a health care center? Pourriez-vous nous dire si vous vous êtes rendu dans un centre de soins, dans un hôpital? I, we went to a medical Réponse. factory. Nous, nous sommes and, dans um, une 
I um, snuck into a, a hospital Dans une usine de uh, with uh, old, I think it's the old Chinese hospital and Nous saw some soldiers there Chinois, who were wounded and um, I think along with uh, uh, there was a small clinic to go with the um, with the pharmaceutical factory Je but no we didn't clinique, uh, other than that no Thank you. Question. Merci. I'd like now to uh, ask you a question or two in relation to uh, violations of uh, human rights. Throughout your visit, tout au long de did votre you meet visite, or, or talk to or interview people or groups of people? Des personnes, des groupes de personnes who were reported to be uh, victimized? Qui vous aurait dit qu'elles avaient été victimes no. de violations de leurs droits? Réponse non. Hello. President and National Co. Prosecutor, uh, please switch off your microphone Monsieur after you finish your question. Éteindre votre micro lorsque vous avez fini de poser votre question. This morning, in your uh, response to Chancellor Wenge, uh, you stated that you visited a cooperative in Kampung Chang and that you met a man whom you considered a former Phnom Penh resident. And you uh, interviewed that man. Vous avez dit, vous êtes entretenu avec cet homme. What was your opinion on that particular man? Was he arranged for the purpose of your interview, or was it a coincidence? It was definitely arranged. It was not a coincidence. I like question. Now, I'd like to refer to uh, your trip to an uh, institution which was run by a Chuan Mom, the brother of a Chuan Prasit. Dans une institution. Il s'agissait du frère de Chuan Prasit, Chuan Mom. And allow me uh, to uh, have a quote. It's E3 slash 20, my year, and E00, 232539, 240, and in English, 00238120, that is page 407, and the French year, and E00, 8689 if you refer to uh, an English author, Vous avez parlé that is uh, from 19, de homme, is an, de and that they were of a similar age, that is seven to eight years old. Vous avez parlé âgés de 7 à 8 ans. And that uh, their performance was amounted to a child labor. Et vous avez parlé à ce moment-là de And travail d'enfant. And in the Khmer translation of uh, your book, de votre livre, what you described was similar to uh, what was uh, described in Dickensian the Ref. On retrouve ce que l'on Could you elaborate a little, bit, a little bit further on this uh, wording, the word Ref? What was the last word? Web? I'm sorry, I didn't Réponse. understand. Réponse, excusez-moi, je n'ai pas compris. Uh, the word that you use is uh, Dickensian verbs, and let me spell it, D-I-C-K-E-N-S-I-A-N, and W-A-I-F-E. 
S. Sorry, I didn't understand. Waif is a little little child, and um, Dickensian, of course, is Charles Dickens. Réponse, and Charles Dickens wrote Charles those Dickens heartbreaking qui avait sagas, un roman sur newspaper des serials about the poor treatment of children qui in the industrialization of, uh, of England. À de and, um, and, um, it's you know, as, as someone who grew up in in the English-speaking world. When you see en fait, young kids like that, the way you immediately genre, think of Charles Dickens because his work helped change the labor laws. And so uh, it's, it, it's an automatic si thing that you, you see these poor kids uh, working instead of going to school or something, you think of Charles Dickens. Thank you. Question, merci. And uh, during your visit to uh, Cambodia, did you have a chance to interview ordinary Cambodge, people uh, besides the Khmer Rouge countries? The interviews were all arranged Réponse. by the Khmer Rouge. So even when someone was presented to me as a normal person, I, I doubted that they were normal people. So nothing was me going out and saying, hi, I'd like to talk to you. That was forbidden. Whoever I was able to talk to was given to me. Question. How about the uh, low-level cadres? Uh, how many of them were you allowed to, to speak to or to interview? I would say dozens, but interview might be too grand a word. I was able to have a few conversations until many of them were cut off. Hello, bye. Les conversations ont été interrompues. And in your capacity as a, an experienced journalist, and that you interviewed uh, several, several or many uh, interviewers, interviewees, what did you uh, notice? in terms of the manner or the expression of the people, the, the, the cadres or the low-level cadres whom you spoke to, were they, were they of their own free will during the time that, they, uh, that you interviewed them? No. Um, in fact, what what helped me exactly in this issue was the fact that I used to live here. And um, there was no question que that these were not pays. normal reactions Je of Cambodians. They were, um, they were more like robots. There's there, there no, there a Ils guardedness of them. Um, I, they definitely had me mostly speak to men. Women, no. Very, very few. They mostly had us speak to men, and they were largely um, veterans, so they were cadre who, who they trusted. Um, there was nothing relaxed, casual, interesting, funny. No, there was no expansion of moods or conversation. It was tuck, 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 tuck. Only within a very narrow strict. band of what they Et wanted to ask about, and if I asked the wrong question, it was cut off. Non, ne s'écartait pas de la ligne de questionnement. Si une question s'écartait un petit peu, alors le passage était coupé ou la, la conversation était interrompue. Thank you. And now let me uh, uh, go through. Part of your uh, visit through a cooperative in uh, Kampung Cham, actually it was covered already by the judge this morning. That is, uh, in term, in, in reference to the document E3 slash 20. E and in Khmer is 00, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0
4, 3, 2, 4, 4. 4, 3, 4, 4, 4. That is page 545 through 546. And English is 00238124. Page 411. And French ERN is 00638661262. Page 401 to 402. And I refer to your book, uh, When the War uh, Was Over. And I'd like to make a direct a quote here. Quote, we passed a newly constructed concrete granary. Later, more children with skinny limbs and extended bellies appeared. Then we saw a single village scene from our car, and those people seem to be fed well. End of quote. Comparing the children with skinny uh, limbs and extended bellies to the scenery where people looked well uh, fed. Vous par la suite. What a reflection had you got about uh, these uh, sceneries, the two contrasting sceneries that you saw? En ces deux aux I presumed that I was seeing Réponse. the difference between what was generally called old people and new people. Que là that la there, were, entre there was, a, there was something resembling a caste system there. And, um, Il y avait une sorte de uh, de caste the people who were trusted, place, the old people of the revolution, were. were cared for better and fed better. De base qui était mieux nourri, mieux traité. Marco Luxray, I like you. Question. Merci. And also my next question is uh, in regards to your uh, visit to uh, Kampung Cham Cooperative. Ma question suivante that is your, in reference to your book, uh, document E3 slash 20, comma is 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, Four hundred and fourteen, and the French ERN is a zero zero six three eight six six four. That is page four zero four, and I'd like to make a, the following quote. Je cite. Quote. Brasset told us to be a kind and announced that we were off to rubber plantation cooperative, and then our first agricultural cooperative. Pum pre mil. End of quote. And also to the lower part of the page, and let me a quote. We returned back in through the car, and we were off to the cooperatives. And for the Khmer translation, it was just a cooperative, but in the English text, En fait, dans la version anglaise, it reads that we were off to the cooperative Potemkin village. That is P O T E M K I N. Can you elab elaborate a little bit further on this term that you use, that is the uh, Potemkin? Uh, Potemkin is referring to um, Soviet, early Soviet Union, and visitors would, were shown a, a village called Potemkin, and it came to, it's, a, it's a now a term for um, a, a model village that looks really great, that hides the grim reality behind it. So Potemkin, in just everyday language, means a, 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 a splendid model that hides what is a gruesome reality. So it's a, it's a, it's a Russian term, it's from a Russian village name, but it's, it's, it's you know, the 20th century term. 
un terme du 19e siècle. Thank you. Question. Also Merci. on the issue of this uh, cooperative visit, Toujours à propos de I'd like to make a, another a quote from your book. That is E3's last 20, and here in Khmer is 00232548, page 550, and English is at 00238127, page 415, and French is at 00638664, that is page 404, and I quote, Village leader told us that there was a house, le chef du village nous a dit wooden hats on stilts, and they had three holidays a month on the 10th, 20th, and 30th. And the cooperative told us, uh, showed us women weaving cloth, men repairing implements, and a large canteen where all shared their meals. The leader emphasized that he and the other uh, cadres were providing service through the people and that they were selected by the masses as leaders because of their qualification to manage the, the village. Later on, I discovered that they were actually senior uh, leaders of, of, the, uh, of the party. End of quote. Could you please uh, tell the court how could you discover that they were leaders uh, within the uh, party or the top uh, party officials they were? Um, let's see, how did I find that out? It was, um, Réponse, je ne m'en souviens plus. Je ne sais pas comment je l'ai découvert. When I came back in the 80s to complete my, Lorsque um, j'y suis retournée dans les années 80 research, pour euh, compléter mes recherches, I believe I cross -checked with, um, party, party je crois documents. avoir vérifié des documents I, du I, parti. A footnote in there, Il y a um, certainement une note in de bas book. de page um, dans mon ouvrage. But yes, I interviewed, boy, I interviewed Cambodians, you know, who, who were still in Cambodia, who were, it could have been one of the intellectuals who were in the camps, but I did some cross-referencing with documents and, and people who were there and told me that they, they knew it. And then I, I double-checked it with a couple of other researchers, so that's all. It was afterwards in the 80s when I came, I came back on several trips here. Cambodia, yeah. Thank you. And did you believe that people Merci during the Khmer Rouge had the freedom to choose their leader as mentioned uh, by the chief? Oh, absolutely not. Um, this is part of that phrase Potemkin. This is all fantasy. This is made up. So they tell me these things, but, you know, I didn't believe them, no. There was no reason to believe them. Thank you. Question, je vous remercie. And during your trip from uh, Kampong Thom to Siem Reap, that is in, in uh, your book, East Reap's last 20, and Khmer uh, N is at 0023549, that is page 551 to 52, and the EN in English is 0023819, that is page 416, page and the French ERN is 00638666. Page 406. Page 406. We, and let me quote, we drove to Simbria from the cooperative. 
Siem Reap is a large town adjacent to Hong Kong, home of Cambodia's famous temple complex. Along the way, we lunch at Kampong Thurm at a new houseboat on the Great Lake. And then, on the highway, our car stopped spontaneously to see from a distance a group of peasants working a field and singing a revolutionary songs under a flapping red flag. That man and I threw photographs, Carwell, the sympathetic, the sympathetic friend was the only experienced tourist in the communist countries and by far the greater cynic. He preferred to stay in the car and laugh at the clumsy photo opportunity prepared for us. End of quote. Please explain to the court what you wrote in that book. What I was saying was that they stopped the car to say, oh, look at this. Isn't this interesting? But it wasn't spontaneous. It was a mise-en-scene. It, um, it, it was set up for us. So we could believe that peasants just love to, to sing while they work with this flag flying. But th this is all made up. It was fantasy land. They, they made it up so we would think that way. It was, it was a production for us only. It was not real life. <laughs> And now I move on to uh, part of your book uh, on your trip to Batambong. And in your book you said that you argued a lot with the Prasad because you were not allowed to visit uh, the Northwest uh, Zone. Khmer Yan is 0023 That is page 554, and the English is at 0023-8131. That is page 418. And the French is at 00638667268. That is page 407 to 408. And allow me to quote. It went on like that. I brought up Ying Sari's pledge that we could visit Northwestern Cooperative. Especially to refute the charges of massive human rights violations against the former residents of Phnom Penh. But there was nothing to be gained finally. Brasset was a bureaucrat charged with lying to us. And he had no choice but to enlarge those lies the more he was pressed. End of quote. Fin de citation. Did you know why they changed their mind and not allowed you to visit the cooperative in Batambong? He, he made up an, a reason, but I didn't think it was true. Um, I don't know that they, they to. Know that they ever planned to. I doubt that they planned to. One of the things that happened was we would spend long days on the highway, and then we'd have 30 minutes to see something very quickly, and then long hours driving around. So it was a process of spending a lot of time by ourselves in this car, and then showing up for very little reporting time. So it was a way to stall, stalling us. Persecution. Um, did you know that um, when Prasit told you a lie? Um, I don't Well, yes, because 
One, he had a horrible twitch, and it got very bad when he lied. Two, he always dropped his head. And, um, but then, generally, it's because he kept contradicting himself. That's what I meant, that it got larger and larger. First it was this reason, then it was that reason. But, you know, I never got a straight answer. Je n'ai jamais pu avoir une vraie réponse. Was he himself uh, intended to lie or uh, was he uh, instructed to lie you? As I wrote, he was the person in charge of explaining Cambodia to us. So I believe he was told the kind of Cambodia, what image they wanted us to see of democratic Kampuchea. This was not his, he was instructed, yes. Prosecutor, thank you, um, Madam Baker. Now I would like you to uh, give clarification that you uh, respond to Judge Lavoine this morning uh, as regards uh, your conversation with Mr. Yang Seri during uh, dinner reception and uh, your response to the question, uh, your question on human rights and in Sri said that there was no um, uh, human rights problem in Cambodia. And justice was given, uh, said that there was no prison in the country. Justice was administered through the property by the people. And that was the end of such uh, issue. Could you explain what you wrote or what was it uh, the uh, people's court? I never saw one. All I, all, all he told us this, we never saw one. So um, there was never any proof that there existed such a people's court. Question. Did you ask anything as to whether a, a solution uh, toward the opposer of the Khmer Rouge regime or anyone react or refuse to the regime? Did you uh, ask any question um, as regards this matter? Um, you mean how they treated people who opposed them? Vous voulez savoir comment ils traitaient les opposants? C'est cela votre question. Prosecutor, I would like you to elaborate uh, as to whether did you ask uh, further question uh, the Khmer Rouge regime uh, uh, would uh, how would the Khmer Rouge uh, treat uh, the people who has um, opposed or have the opposing opinion against the region? Um, yes, on all, almost all of the spots, I tried in many different ways to ask that question because um, the human rights question always, and they always cut me off and said that this was not a problem. As I said this morning, they considered that proof that I was either bourgeois or a CIA agent. This is not a, they said it's not a problem, and, um, and um, they did not, they stopped the question. They tended to stop me from asking the question. Prosecutor, thank you. Um, did you insist to visit to the prison or any security centers uh, during your trip, your visit? They denied that there were prisons. Ils ont nié l'existence de telles prisons. Prosecutor, thank you. Now I would like to move on to another question before my I conclude this. Uh, uh, as regards uh, the trip 
uh, to Takao when you visited uh, a cooperative at Liebo as a model cooperative of the regime. How do you know it was a cooperative, um, a model cooperative, or someone told you about that? This is the cooperative where they took all the delegations, and um, compared to everything else we saw, this was a model. So there, if you saw this compared to the others, there's no question you would say that this was a model. Prosecutor, on the same page, uh, document uh, your book E3 stroke 20, E and in Khmer 00232557, page 559, English E and at 00238135, page 422, French E and 00633. Eighty-six, seventy-one, page four hundred and eleven. I quote: We were taken to one such a family dwelling and introduced. To a mother and her son, he sat on the mat, the visit, dressed in a black sarong and blouse, and staring at us with a worried countenance that never eased. It was one of the faces of the of um, the Yugoslav had noticed, a face that could not smile. We left the hut quickly for fear of upsetting the woman or putting her in jeopardy. My question for you is that uh, could you explain uh, further to the court Based on your experience uh, in doing the interview with many people, uh, especially uh, uh, Khmer refugee at the uh, refugee camp, when you compare to uh, the appearance of an old woman, uh, how can you tell the court the difference uh, between their um, face expression and what you, what you saw? Si vous comparez donc votre well, expérience, um, est-ce que vous avez vu? I took vu pictures of this. Réponse. In fact, you can en fait, in, in the book you see her sitting there. Um, livre, <coughs> very guarded. Um, uh, does not want to to make any any emotional face. Whereas Aucune when you talk to refugees, even if they're tired and <coughs> even if they've, they've gone through a lot, after a few minutes, people respond, you develop a report. That was impossible. There, it was very impossible. And um, I was not the only one who felt it. We all three felt, we'll leave her alone. This is not the time to talk to her. It's, you would pick it up. There's the definite single signal. Immédiatement, le, les tout signaux tout. étaient clairs. <coughs> Prosecutor, Prosecutor, thank you very much for um, uh, your effort to Je respond to my question. Uh, Mr. President, I uh, have no further question. Mr. My uh, esteemed colleague will ask uh, further questions. The President, thank you, Prosecution. The trial chamber. Um, uh, take uh, uh, recess until uh, uh, 3 o'clock. Um, court officer, uh, please work with the uh, uh, expert support section to uh, coordinate the, the expert uh, to take a, a break during the, the court recess. The court is now in recess.